Welcome to the Double RT Boxing Show with your host, Mr. A. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. New viewers become new subscribers. Return subscribers, thumbs up. Thank you for your support. The public announcement. We are uh, asking for an average of 10 thumbs up. So please help with that. This is the Breakdown and Prediction segment, volume number 59 for Ready Ready Talk That Boxing. Thumbs up, show your support. Thank you for your support. AJ versus Joseph Parker. The IBF, the WBA, the IBO, and the WBO. Four belts on the line. I like the IBO. I think it should be counted more. Who cares, man, if it's a computer gym? Just take it and rock it and whoop some ass with it. You know, it's a, it's a nice green belt, too. It's nice. Now, Joseph Parker is the underdog. Uh, 24 and 0, 18 KO, 75% knockout ratio. That knockout has, uh, I believe, has not happened in his last three fights since uh, his title vacancy bout. Uh, his competition up, you know, his, uh, since he took in his competition up. He comes in with 123 rounds of experience to AJ's 20-0 and 0 with 65 rounds. 28 years old, 26 years old for the younger Parker. 6'6 six, six to 6'4 six, for AJ with an 82 reach over at Parker's 76. Now, that reach, I believe, is going to play a big factor. A big factor. Because uh, you, you will see how these fighters break down. They each have their advantages over one another per department, I believe. Like for the legs, for instance. AJ gets uh, more power and leverage in his punches from his legs. He can move on his feet, but not as smoothly as or fast as a uh, Parker can, who doesn't get as much uh, leverage and power with his legs, but he can get in and out and cover more ground faster and quicker than um, Anthony. So they, you know, it's, it, it all depends on how you plan for the strategy, who you're going to give the advantage to. But, you know, in, in hearing that, you know, you, you go with the power leverage given by Anthony Joshua's, uh, you know, his his legs pl being planted. You know, he, he, he's pretty good at hawking. He shows some uh, fast feet against Dylan White. He showed pretty decent feet, even though he was heavy. He showed pretty decent uh, cutting. He, he got in pretty quick on Takum. He got pretty quick on uh, Latimer. His, his footwork is good. His step pace is good. Now you go to Parker. Like I said, he's in and out the ring. So what you want to go? I'm going to go. We're going to suggest for more adversity, I guess. Verversity. I think I give the edge to Parker. You know, I like, I like movers. So it's all on how you like it. I like movers, point scorers. You know, if you got power, you could mix in there. Great. You know, you know, I like movers. Yeah, like Lomachenko style. I like it. I like it a lot. You know, he does whatever the hell he wants. We'll call it his feet. So I want to give the legs to uh, Parker on this one. So like I said, it's a flip up. Then you have the defense. Now this, I I think. Uh, inside defense, even though yes, he, uh, AJ got rocked by Dylan White. He got ro dropped by a Klitschko. I think he has pretty good in the box defense. I think you know when he got that high guard up. I think he's good at catching, catching and releasing, catching pulling. You know, and he he's pretty good at uh, keeping the gap, head movement. You know, he's he's a stationary target. Where I believe Parker. Because of his legs movement, he mixes his offense to his defense, which is back foot fighting. You know, I think he's it. So his defense is gap controlling and he knows how to, well, he's, 
he darts in. You know, he either he's, he keeps the gap, and when he knows he has the opportunity, he darts in. But other than that, I don't think Parker's he his hands are pretty low. You know, his he, he leaves an open lane for his head. So um, defensively, I'm going with AJ. Then offensively, hand speed. I'm going to go with punch and power. I'm going I'm going to give with uh Anthony. Cuz jab for jab, power for cuz to me AJ doesn't turn his punches over. He does a lot of arm flinging hooks, the slaps. You know, maybe it was the elbow surgery, I don't know. But it, it seems like he never really gets a hard shot on his opponents. Now, you know, his back foot fighting against Huey, oh, no, not Huey, sure, uh, Ruiz, you know, back foot fighting, you know, when he did come forward, it was some wide, fast combinations, but a little smothered combination, sloppy combinations, and nothing's flesh hitting. You know, so I don't think he's too accurate with his shots, where I think uh, everyone do will most likely agree that Joshua delivers combinations in a more tighter technical matter. So we're going to go with the hand speed and combinations and punch selection variations. All that with Joshua. And how and now how will how can because eventually we think the favorite in this match is Joshua. Eventually he uh, catch Parker with something heavy, an overhand right. You know, trap him against the ropes, maybe. You know, you know, somewhere he's gonna catch Joseph Parker. You know, and and just probably drop him, knock him out. You know, we don't see him showing back foot fighting against Parker, moving around the ring. You know, we don't, we don't see Anthony Joshua doing something different. He's, you know, he's gonna be in front of him, slowly walking him down, jabbing himself in, showing that close quarter combination. Now, how can Parker, will I say his strategy be to upset and pull this uh, upset off? I think he will have to, considering he's given up that reach, he's going to have to take, it's tough, but given he witnessed it himself how good it can be the Huey Fury style. If he could pull off Huey Fury against Joshua and mix in the right times to attack and smother, he can make Joshua use a lot of energy moving himself around, scoring enough points, but knowing a little more powerful than Huey Fury. He could build a quiet, boring, unsatisfactory lead. And then as you know, you sense, and if you could withstand with the attack of AJ, if you could sense him losing his uh his first win, you know, and then that goal be seen between the second win, losing his steam, his power, start up in his attack, I think he has a chance to pull it off, you know. Use the ring, score points, because I and like I said, Joshua to me, I mean, um, Parker, to me, doesn't turn his punches over for enough zoom, oomph, you know? I think that's why, one, his competition is getting better, and I think that's why his knockouts have dropped. Like I said, it could be the elbows, the elbow surgeries on both arms. We shall see, you know? But I don't think, considering he don't turn his punches, he can't stand there with Parker, I mean, with AJ, and hurt him. I don't think he could do it. And he's always back foot fighting. He, more than he's coming on forward, he's a back foot fighter waiting to set you up. So he's going to be back foot fighting against Joshua. And that's I, that's the only way I really see him winning is doing the Huey Fury technique. But I got AJ catching him like within seventh round stoppage. Stoppage or knockout. And still IBO, WBA, IBF, and the new... WBO champion, AJ Anthony Joshua. I'm your host. This is your show, Ready Ready Talk Boxing, the double R, double R, double RT boxing show. 
new viewers. Hope you was in, in, enjoyed it, entertained, and you become a new subscriber. Return subscribers, thank you for your support. And once again, new viewers and old subscribers, let's make it a 10 thumbs show average. Small show, but let's get that 10 thumb average. Thank you.